Let's take the terrain we've built so far, wrap it up as a digital asset, and open it in Unreal. So to do that, the first thing we do is take the network, select all the nodes, and we're going to create a subnetwork out of that. So this is different than a network box. A subnetwork is actually a new node that has all the other nodes inside it. Now once we have that, we can right click on that. Well, let's change its name first to terrain. Uh, let's right click on that and we're going to go digital asset create new. Now in here, we've got the name of the asset. We'll leave terrain. We don't need version number. We don't need a branch. Uh, for the user path, let's use the hip file directory. So dollar hip HDA and let's just use the node name. So it's terrain.hda and let's uh, create. Now it's going to go and think about that as it stores all of that. And what it's basically doing is taking that node network and placing it on disk. We then get this parameter in, or interface which has the history of that. So we're just going to accept that for now. We're not going to add any special parameters, uh, but if, you could if you if you wanted to. We're then going to go into Unreal. We're going to use a third person sort of setup. And once we got that up in place, uh, we can just go in and just, we don't need any of this stuff because the only thing we want to keep is the, uh, is the person. So all this geometry, let's delete and the playground, let's keep the lighting, let's delete that and all of these cubes, the SMs, let's delete that. And the text actor we don't need and other than that we're in good shape there. So once we got that, we can import, um, go to the HDA, SOP Terrain, open. Take that terrain and drag it over. And what it's going to do is cook that, and in the process of cooking it, uh, give us the terrain. Now, uh, it's, a, it's very big, so let's just put its location at 000. And then we're going to press F to zoom out and see that. Now we can tumble around, but you notice that if we try to pan or zoom, it goes really slowly because it's such a big distance. So one of the options in Unreal that's worth using at this point is the editor preferences. Um, click on viewports, and there's an option under advanced for use distance scaled camera speed. And if we use that, now when we zoom in, out, or pan, um, it works at an appropriate speed given how far we are from the origin. And there we go. So let's hide the content browser for now just so we can take a look at this landscape. So it is the um, it's the terrain, the height field terrain brought in and it's uh, got also the instanced trees are in here as well. And they're part of this uh, digital asset that we've imported. The player start is this little um, object here. It's very small to the landscape now, but what we're going to do is we're going to move it over so that it's sitting just in the forest area over here. And that way uh, the character doesn't have far to fall when we first press play. So if we press play, we're going to see, oh, it didn't take that much. And there are the big trees, <laughs> the cylinder or tube trees and the landscape has a sort of UV grid on it and we can run around that space and basically run around the height field. And there we go. So we might want to do a couple things to uh, work with this now. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, let's zoom out and just look at this from here and we want to put some texture on the grass area and we want to replace these tube trees with uh, with something uh, geometry that already exists in Unreal. So we select the asset and we bring this parameter up. If we scroll down uh, we're actually going to see the instance object is right there. If we bring back a content library and dock that we can go to the starter content uh, props and there is a bush object that we can bring in here and drag onto there. And every cone is going to get replaced by that, but it will be scaled 
um, and rotate it based on our settings in Houdini. Now the initial scale of this is too small, so let's just go um, we're going to take the scale offset and we're going to start with 5, 5, and 5. And that gives us a decent look. They look more like bushes now, so maybe we might want to um, let's get back the, uh, we're going to scroll down. Every time we want to do this, we've got to select the digital asset. Uh, and then there it is there. And so we're going to go in and we're going to make the Z direction 10 because that's the one that's facing, that, that's being pointed up. So that gives us more tree-like shapes to work with. Now the next thing we can do is we can go and there's the terrain itself uh, and currently it's just got a general grid on it but we can just type grass in here and there's a default grass material that we can just throw on there. Just going to think about it. It's a little light but it'll do the job. Once we have those two things in place you see we can set something up in Houdini and then customize it or enhance it here in Unreal. And if we just press uh, play, oh let's get rid of the browser and zoom in and just press play. And there we go. So now we've got these big bushes that are the trees of this world, uh, some grass on the ground, and we can now run around. So we've taken our height field, saved it as a digital asset, uh, brought it into Unreal using the Houdini engine technology, uh, and then modified it to suit, suit our needs in this environment. So I hope this has been a, a useful exercise introduction to terrains in Houdini and good luck exploring it further.